When I'm looking for battle map solutions for my games, I want to have a variety of options available to me if I can. If I know before the session that a battle is going to take place at a specific location, I have time to use my Warlock tiles and my Dwarven Forge terrain to make a pretty cool 3D setup, assuming that I have the pieces for that particular kind of terrain. If it's like a forest or a tavern or a cave or a dungeon, I'm usually good. But a lot of the times, especially in longer game sessions, you're gonna have battles you weren't necessarily expecting. You can always go tell your players to have a snack break while you build up the encounter with your terrain pieces or draw out a map on gridded paper, but I think it's better to have a grab and go solution so you don't lose your momentum. One great solution is the flip mats from Paizo. I use those all the time, but today we've got something kind of along those lines, but taken up a notch. This is Castles, Crypts, and Caverns, a set of two battle map books from a company called Loke Battle Maps. And it brings a couple of really smart innovations that I'll tell you all about. And many thanks to Loke, or Loki, or Loke, I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, for sending these our way to review. So, make some space in your gaming table as we bust out our Castles, Crypts, and Caverns. Before we jump into our big books of maps, how would you like a big book of adventures to go along with it? The big book of big bads from Hitpoint Press is coming to Kickstarter soon. It has 25 fully fleshed out boss monsters with backstories, role playing guides, minions, layer information, story hooks, and more ready for your one shots or campaigns. And you can also get the companion book, Creatures and Curios, with new monsters and magic items. Right now, you can visit the link in the doohickey down below to pick up a free preview of Creatures and Curios to see what you think. The free preview features creatures like the Crystallium Eagle, the Haunt Light Ray, the Hand of Ormanos, the Cloak of Nettles, the Polyglot Bonnet, and several other creatures and curios ready for your games. Use our link in the eye in the corner of your screen or in the doohickey down below to sign up to be notified when they launch. And the link to the free preview booklet is also down there as well. That is the big bads on Kickstarter soon. Now this is a set of two books that are designed to be used together to create one large map for your gaming table. Each book has 40 pages of maps, all with your standard one inch grid. And the book is designed to lay flat on the table so you can easily use it with your minis. You can fold the book completely under if you just want to use one page for your map, and each map page is 12 inches by 12 inches. But each page spread works together to form a 24 by 12 inch map. But the best part is that the books are designed to be used together at the same time. So when you open both books to the same two pages, the maps will connect and you have one big 24 inch by 24 inch map to play on. So in total, between the two books, you get 22 foot by two foot maps, which I am gonna cycle through for you here. I appreciate that where possible, they incorporated the grid into the terrain itself, making it more subtle. When there are rooms, most of them are rather bare of furniture and scattered terrain so you can bring your own mini sets to fill them out if you like and I have other solutions for you too in a minute and you can also just draw on the maps directly with wet or dry erase markers to note significant features or furniture or other little notes and spell effects whatever you like but when they made the books they included a little extra space there right along the middle of the spine meaning that those squares along the spine are completely usable as well you don't lose any playable space along that spine but one of the coolest things about these maps is that the entrances and exits of the map are pretty standardized in the middle of the sides, the top, and the bottom of the map, meaning that you can mix and match different maps from each book and still have a cohesive looking battle area. You might want a castle that leads into a dungeon or a garden that leads into a crypt. If you don't want a standard 24 by 24 inch square map, you can rotate and move the books around to create different configurations and they still look like they were meant to be used that way. It is just an awesome, versatile set of very very usable maps. And this is just one set that they have available. They have other two book sets like this one, including Towns and Taverns, Wilderness, and The Dungeon. They have several single volumes of big maps that are 12 inches by nine inches, giant maps that are 16 by 12 inches, and even little books of maps that are six inches by six inches. They even have some cyberpunk specific books and a couple of books of sci-fi maps. And as a Starfinder player, I can tell you that a good sci-fi map can be kind of hard to come by. With their standardized entry and exit sections of the maps, I bet you're gonna be able to combine maps from different books, so I only have these two to test that theory. And if you don't wanna bring your own scatter terrain, they have collections of static cling add-on scenery that you can pick up as well. We 
We've seen a few other companies, including Beetle and Grimms, that flirt with the static cling scenery in the past, and it's certainly a cheaper way to fill out these battle maps instead of having to use minis, and they're much easier to store. The Castle's Crypts and Caverns 2 book collection is $46.99 plus tax and shipping. You can pick them up on their website at lookbattlemats.us, and I believe you may also be able to find them at your friendly local game stores, and if they don't have them in stock, you can see if they're able to get them from their distributor to save yourself that shipping cost. Sometimes for new products like this, I try to offer some criticisms or areas for improvement, but these books just feel really well conceived and executed as they are. They are a little bit larger and taller than your standard books, so it may be slightly out of place on your bookcases, but honestly, having this many well-designed modular maps in this relatively small and transportable package is pretty amazing. If I were gonna go to a con or something like that to play, and I didn't have like a specific Pathfinder flip map for a particular adventure that I was gonna run, I'd probably just throw this set into my suitcase because it covers a lot of ground and it isn't too large to travel with. You know what would be amazing? Paizo sometimes releases flip mats tied to their particular adventure paths, but for D&D, you're often on your own to get maps to your table unless you buy like a Beetle and Grimm's Deluxe box. Would it be awesome if Wizards sold books of maps like this for each of their adventures so you'd have everything ready to go in one place? With how much money Wizards makes, I can't believe they haven't found a good map solution yet. But let me know what you think about this set of books in the comments section down below. And if you know of other smaller companies that make really cool products that we should cover, please either let us know or tell them to reach out to us because I love to showcase these kind of cool products from smaller companies. You might know that we started making these little Cobalt plushies, which we think are pretty great, but the hardest part is just letting other people know they exist. So if we can help other creators spread the word of their cool creations, we definitely want to do that. And don't forget to check out the Big Bad Kickstarter from our sponsor, Hit Point Press. Signing up with our link there in the corner of your screen or in the doohickey down below lets them know that we sent you, which helps us stay on the air. So thank you to Hit Point Press and to you for your support. If you would like some Cobalt plushies of your own or just to help us share the word of their existence, you can find them at cobaltplush.com. And we're gearing up for our first convention appearance at Comet Palooza in Houston from May 26th to 28th. So if you're in the area, come and see us. You can also meet folks like Stephen Amell, Carla Urban, Anthony Starr. So come on out and have the best nerdy weekend possible in Houston. You can follow us on our shenanigans over on Tick Journal, Snapface, LinkedTube, or just call into our BBS. Until next time though, stay safe, have fun, love each other, and I will see you next time at the Gallant Goblin.